हेलो एवरी वन आई एम कृति पटेल टूडे वी वील लर्न द सब्जेक्ट बिग डेटा एनालिटिक्स एंड द कंटेंट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू बिग डेटा वी वील सी द टॉपिक अलगोरिदम्स यूजिंग मैप रेड्यूस इन टूडे सेशन सो वी वील स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट डेफिनेशन ऑफ मैप रेड्यूस सो फॉर दैट वी वील सी द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ मैप रेड्यूस नाउ द मैप रेड्यूस इज अ प्रोग्रामिंग मॉडल फॉर प्रोसेसिंग अ लार्ज डेटा साइट्स विथ a parallel distributed system and which is applied on the cluster like you can uh, take an example of source like wikipedia so here we can say the map reduce is used when it will be coupled with the hdfs and can be used to handle the big data so basically when we combine the map reduce with the uh, combination of hdfs it is used for handling the big data concepts now the fundamentals of hdfs map reduce system which is commonly referred to as an hadoop then you can see in the diagram here some of the inputs are basically given to a map task which is having the function map and later on it will apply it on the reduce function which is having the reduce task and after all you will get the final output so you can see the basic fundamental of map reduce we can have different three functions for basic two functions having map and reduce respectively now we will see if we compare with the traditional system with map reduce then you can see in the diagram the first diagram is of the traditional way and the second diagram is of the map reduce now before map reduce is we using the traditional system was uh, in such a manner whatever our data will be which is uh, big in a size or huge in a size it is uh, applied on the split the data so basically the first step was our big data is applied on split data function then after this split data was grabbed and it was matches with different uh, constraints and then after you will get the combinations of all the matches and you will get all match data so these are the basic steps which are followed in traditional way system now what happen in map reduce you can see in the figure initially we have the inputs then after you can apply these inputs on different map functions then after this will apply with reduce functions and these all reduce tasks are finished to get the final output so these are the different steps of map reduce so here you can get easily comparison of traditional versus map reduce now which are the different challenges associated with traditional approach means if you know the challenges then you come to know how uh, and why we have to use this map reduce the first one is critical path problem it is the amount of time which is taken to finish the job without delaying the next milestone to actual completion date so if any of the machines delay the job the whole work get delayed so it is the most crucial problem which having the traditional approach that's why we have to use the map reduce what is second challenge the second challenge is reliability problem so what is reliability problem here what if any of the machines which are working with a part of data fails means for example we have five machines which are working with the data and if any one of that will be failed then if these machines are combinedly worked together or parallelly worked then what will happen further so we cannot reliable on working of each and every individual machines so the management of this failover becomes a challenge so it is a second challenge which are which is associated with the traditional approach now we will see the third challenge which is equal split issue as we are working with the big data we have very huge data or very big data in size so this uh, exponentially growing data is become very difficult to handle with the uh, splitting issues because 
we have to analyze the data and we have to uh, come out on the uh, predictions in which manner data will be splitted so you can get easily splitting of the data and that each split is meaningful so here how will i divide the data into smaller chunks so that each machine gets even a part of data to work with means what in other words you can say now and we have to decide how to equally divide the data so that no individual machine is overloaded or underutilized means we have to divide the our whole data in different chunks in such a manner that each and every machines are equally utilized so it is a way and it is very difficult task for uh, associated with the traditional approach now we will see the fourth uh, challenge that is the single split may be fail means what if any of the machine fail to provide the output i will not able to calculate the result because as i told you each and every machines are working connectively so some of machines output is provided as input of another machine so if any one machine is fails to generate the output then it will failure of the whole system so here there should be a mechanism to ensure this fault tolerance capability of this system it is yet not provided with the traditional systems hence we have to move on on the uh, map reduce algorithms now second is aggregation of the result there would be a mechanism to aggregate the result which are generated by each and every of the machines to produce the final output it is also a challenge when some of the uh, or large number of machines are there then we have to apply some mechanism which is standard for aggregation of the result now we will see the next theory what is basics of map reduce see here a map reduce program is composed of a map reduce processors means what which will perform the filtering and shorting such as shorting students by first name into queues or you can do apply on one queue for each name and a reduce method which performs a summary operation for example such as counting a number of students in each queue by yielding that name in frequencies so here we have to understand in such a manner of the uh, concept of a uh, map reduce the map reduce system also it calls infrastructure or framework which orchestrate on the processing by marshaling on the distributed servers as well as running the various task in the parallel also managing all communications and data transfer between the various parts of the system and also it provides for redundancy and fault tolerance so it's all about map reduce now we will see the algorithm steps you can see here map reduce algorithm uses the following three main steps in the first one is map function second one is shuffle function and the third one is reduce function so now we will see each one in detail but before it we see first of all what is map function see here map function is the first step in map reduce algorithm it takes input task say you can say it's a data set i have given only one data set in below diagram but you consider here of any data type of data set for the input of map function and it divide them into smaller sub task means divides of the smaller sub task is nothing but the will get the chunks then after it will perform the required computations on each sub task in parallel now here these steps will perform the following two sub steps the first is splitting and second one is mapping what happens in each step the splitting step will takes the inputs data sets from source and divide into smaller sub data sets and the mapping step will take those smaller sub task or sub data sets and perform required action or computation on each sub data sets 
what happened in the second uh, step of the map reduce algorithm which is shuffle here it is the second step in map reduce algorithm the shuffle function is also known as a combined function it performs the following two sub steps first one is merging and second is shorting here the merging steps will combining all key value pairs which have the same keys and that is grouping of key value pairs by comparing with keys and these steps will return a set which having the first component as a key and second will be the list of all values and sorting step it will take some inputs from the merging steps and sort all the key value pairs by using the keys these steps also return the key and list value but the output will be in the sorted manners third one is reduce function see here it is the final step of map reduce algorithm it performs only first step which is reduce here in reduce what happens it will take the list of key and values which is already sorted in pairs and from the shuffle function and it perform the reduce operation as known as below see here now for example we have one example and we have to count these words and the example counts words are deer beer river car car here car is appearing two times river is also repeated deer car and beer you can see if we have the strings of counting words in this manner so we have actually number of uh, uh, repeated words we have to count so here for this the overall map radio word count process will be done in such a manner you can see in the diagram first we have the input of our original string which is nothing but deer beer river car car river and we have applied the letter on deer car and beer now this all string is applied to the first step of map reduce which is splitting so after this splitting you will get three strings first one is deer beer river second will having the car car river and third one having the deer car beer now this splitting strings or chunks will apply to the function which is mapping so here after map you will get a value or pair of key as well as value so here deer is appearing one time beer is one time river is one time same way you will get the car one car one and rear one so third one will have the deer one car one and beer one so all mapped values are uh, having to apply with the shuffling function now after the applied shuffling these are sorted so you can see these are in alphabetical order as b c d and r so this beer having one one car having three times appearance so it having the one 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 deer appearing two times it having one and one and river is also appearing two times as well as it's passed with the value one comma one now after shuffling it will provide to the reduce function so it will reduce the one comma one and implied as the two so here reducing will you will get the beer with two value car with three deer with two and river with two and you will get the final result means having the number of counted words as beer with two car three deer two and river two which is combined result of all reduced function so it is a way how can you apply uh, um, this map reduce algorithm having each step map shuffle and reduce on our given input stream so here we uh, learned what is map reduce how it is compared with the traditional system and how can we apply on the real example so now i am ending this session and uh, thank you everyone